What's going on, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and I'm at the event, the Microsoft event in San Francisco. It's a foggy day, got craziness going on in the East Coast in terms of weather, but you know what? We're seeing a new device here. Not a new device, but something we're seeing for the first time. It's the Samsung Ative S, and we've got it powered on, and you can take a look at the Windows Phone 8. Goodness. Now, specs-wise, you've got a 1.5 gigahertz dual-core processor here, a 4.8-inch Super uh, AMOLED HD display, so a full HD display, and it's the largest at 4.8 inches, so keep that in mind when comparing to, you know, like the 4.8 inch display on the HTC Windows Phone 8X, uh, and the display is obviously on the Lumia 920, the Lumia 820, and those various uh, those various variants, if you will. Uh, this one is definitely thinnest at 8.7 millimeters and has the largest display at 4.8 inches. So think Galaxy S3 here in terms of overall size, and uh, actually overall design as well. You can see down here at the bottom, you've got a back button, you've got your Windows button, which is a, a physical button, again, very similar to Galaxy S3, and a search button as well, and then on the back, you've got an 8 megapixel camera, 1080p HD video recording, a volume rocker on the left side, power button on the right side, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on top, and uh, three point, uh, excuse me, micro USB charging port on the bottom. So we've taken a look, if you, if you haven't already, take a look at my HTC Windows Phone 8X video for more on Windows Phone 8 within itself, but you can see some of the changes here, of course, in terms of the live tiles and how you can customize the size and overall usability of those, and you can make messaging bigger, for example, and really get full access to this where you can get previews and more, so you're not seeing previews just in the calendar widget or just in the phone widget, but you're seeing it all across the board throughout the system. So very nice there as well and got a nice design to it. It's got the titanium gray look and feel. We saw the original device uh, several months ago, but it's nice to finally see it turned on and ready to go at this special event in San Francisco. You can, of course, see applications here. And like I showed you in the HTC 8X video, the early review video, that is, you can go into settings and they've offered some new customization options like theme. We've got a bunch of different colors to choose from. So that's particularly nice, although I will say the physical button is a little bit of a deviation after working with the 8X for a couple of days. So uh, again, be sure to take a look at that early review. Is this a device for you? Of course, it's coming to Verizon as the uh, Ativ Odyssey, and I'm sure there'll be some minor tweaks and customizations. This is the Ativ S, the global version, but rest assured we'll get our hands on them as soon as we can for full reviews. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage. And as always, be sure to follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog. Hit us up on Twitter as well at uh, Facebook, or excuse me, twitter.com slash phone dog, and my personal one at phone dog underscore Aaron. Let me know which Windows phone is your favorite. Love to hear from you. And uh, hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog AB. Much more coverage to come on Windows Phone 8 as launches around the world in the next couple of weeks. I'm Aaron from phonedog.com. I'll see you next time.